hot. Y'all know what day it is. It's Friday. Finally, Friday. Right there he is. So let's take a look and see what he's got. I can't slap my camera because I got a wasp on it. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. He's pissed off. I, I ain't doing that today. There he goes. Come on. his camera today them wasp things is like them jellyfish things we was talking about yeah they hurt for a, a week if a wasp was the size of a hummingbird at key <laughs> it'd pick you up throw you <laughs> off back to the family yeah if it if it was the size of a hummingbird and it stung you that'd been it they could close the casket on you <laughs> well they're uh stinger be that size right there though he'd, he'd drill a hole in you <laughs> What's that uh, bone marrow? He'll be going for bone marrow then. That's it. Ain't nothing hurts worse than them big old red walls. I don't know them little yellow jackets are pretty bad too. Well, that, they gang up on you. You get a whole bunch of them on you. But everybody, I seen the thing one day talking about the big red walls in Mississippi. I was like, they're pissed off naturally. Oh, yeah. And they said, but hell, the only time they come out is when it's 115 degrees outside, it feels like. So naturally, they're like everybody else in Mississippi. They're pissed off because it's too damn hot. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever go out on your porch and you see a red wasp and his wings is beating, you better go the other way. Yeah, leave him alone. He, he finna get you. Because it's funny, you see them now, like, they lay down, and then when you walk up, they stand up. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, come on now, get come a little on, closer. Get and them little wings, like I said, they get to flapping. <laughs> and priming that engine up, about to launch on you. Hey, rough, man. Boy, well, y'all got some big plans for the fourth? I would go out on the water and hang out, float around, stay hydrated. You know, buy some stock and make a low ultra this weekend. Well, yeah, <laughs> better get it before I get <laughs> off work. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We've tossed around a couple of ideas, but I'm definitely stay hydrated this weekend for it's sure. It's going to be too hot. Bad. I uh, had a couple of buddies like, you seen the weather's going to cool off. Like we've seen the humidity, it's three times what it normally is. So it's gonna, it's gonna feel even hotter out there, you know? Yeah, I seen on the news this morning, they was talking about <laughs> gas prices. They said it was the highest it's been in seven years. I thought, man, that's a coincidence, ain't it? Yeah. You know, Fourth of <laughs> July weekend, everybody's traveling, everybody's yep. buying gas for their boats and jet skis and all that. It's, it's funny how stuff like that works. Yeah, every holiday gas goes up 10, 15 cents, so. And it only goes down about four or five the following week. So yeah. they, they get you. It'll soon be where six dollars a gallon. You're like, that's normal, ain't it? <laughs> I remember when gas was eighty, probably eighty six nine was as low as I can remember. Yeah, I I remember it being when I started driving. I think it was around ninety six, ninety seven cents a gallon. Yeah. Like back then, I had an old truck. You know, I didn't give it about five miles a gallon. It didn't, it didn't matter, matter though. You know, fifteen dollars and fill that joker up. Yeah, we can go from here. Twenty dollars if it was all empty. You know, I remember when. Yeah, when gas hit like a dollar forty, dollar fifty, everybody thought the world was on the end. Yeah. Now, if we hit a dollar forty, dollar fifty, you wouldn't be able to get out on the road out here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this many people lined yeah. <laughs> up. That's right. It's crazy how things have changed. That's kind of like it. Remember that Snap-on catalog you had? And it showed the prices. Yeah, of it? yeah, from the yeah. It was like thirty cents. And stuff. Well, you get <laughs> yeah, a whole set of sockets for about eighteen, twenty bucks when they first. And now the same one. Like, I don't even know if there's bucks. anything on this truck. There was a lot of stuff in there. It was like a dollar. Remember yeah. that? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything on the truck. Oh well, you can get a gumball. Twenty-five cents. Them are jawbreakers now. <laughs> they are morphed into jawbreakers. <laughs> Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't gonna find any tools, really, for, uh, like I said, 85 cents or even, even a, a set of anything for 30 bucks. Like What's you, the cheapest thing on the Snap-on truck? The cheapest, like, all around? Yeah, like if a guy like come a, on here and he says, man, I need to get something, but I ain't got but a, a little bit of money, where would you point him at? I, 
I, well, a lot of times they either like stream lights, which these ain't even the cheapest. They're like 35 bucks. Everybody likes a stream light though. Yeah. But these little spark indicators right here is like right at $20. But most people's like, I ain't never going to use that. So they end up buying a stream light. So 20 bucks is the cheapest thing on the truck? Yeah, as far as like a tool that you'd be able to use and stuff. Of course, then a lot of well, people you can come sell them on. a screwdriver, Beth. They're what, five bucks a piece? Yeah. <laughs> or selling some socks. Yeah. Everybody laughs about the socks till they try them out, and then yeah. they uh, I get did. more I was like, man, Snap-on can't make no good <laughs> socks. Hamilton said, look, I'm going, he's like, a, let me show you. This is how it works, okay? <laughs> Your Snap-on dealer, this is how you know if you got a Snap-on dealer or just, you know, like a, a corporate guy. Like the first time I looked at these socks, I was like, man, I don't, I don't think Snap-on make no socks worth crap. That's ridiculous, you know. It's just probably some Hanes <laughs> and then soaps. Walmart on brand. Name on, right? Hamilton, like a drug dealer. Here, just take this first one. That's on me. <laughs> you can have that one. You just try it out. If you don't like it, I mean, you ain't lost nothing. Then the next week, I come back. I wore them that next week. The next week, I think I bought like five pair. Yeah. And I probably bought probably 25 pairs since then. Uh, probably at least that many. So if your dealer don't give him give you a pair of Snap-on socks to try, you'll not ever get back on his truck again. And I'm sorry if you're a Snap-on dealer, if you won't give your guys a pair of socks. Well, when you're out of business, then you know why. Let Hamilton man. know, and that way he can buy your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we well, yeah, had to order some more socks the other day because my son then been. I've been wondering like where my socks have been going. My drawers, I usually try to have a whole bunch of socks. And my drawers been getting thinner and thinner. And I know I ain't wore no holes in them. Now to come to find out, my son then, he done went through and got all my larges. I got large and extra large. He done got all my larges out. They're up in his dresser now, so. Well, this is what we need to do. We need to teach him where you keep your keys and he can just unlock the truck, come on here and get him some new pairs. Well, he came out the other day when I got home and said all his socks were dirty. He didn't need another pair of socks. So it's not like you need to wash them, which you need to do. <laughs> did you let him put it on truck account or did you make him pay for it in full? <laughs> nah, he had to pay for it in full. <laughs> he ain't old enough to have credit yet. He got to pay for his stuff. Oh, man, that ain't right. <laughs> yeah, if your Snap-on dealer won't give you a pair of socks, I wouldn't buy nothing else on his truck. Cause first pair would be free. That's it. A smart uh, dealer would give you the first pair because he knows what you want. You're gonna buy. Them. Make yeah. Buy some more. <laughs> yeah, we go through a lot true. of socks. Sell a whole lot of socks. Yeah. Especially at Christmas time, you get a lot of wives call, want to buy a dozen pair or something like mm -hmm. that. Because a lot of times, like at Christmas, you can get some deals. We buy ten, you get two of them free and stuff. Yeah. And, well, have you had a hard time getting red backs, or are you tried? I, I ordered a pair a couple or a couple months ago, and I finally got them in about three weeks ago for a fella. Uh, the red backs has been, I guess, probably having a hard time getting them out of Australia. I think with the, just shipping. Yeah, everybody's talking about yeah. how they're back ordered, back ordered, back ordered. Oh, um, they're yeah. good boots. I like. Them. They are. They're very good boots. Yep. I got some for a, another one. Of my well, that's one I ordered some for him the other day. So we'll see how long they take to come in then. There you go. Still no word on when the shipment's coming in? The toolbox? Well, I, the ones, the ratchets. The ratchets, I think the ratchets be two weeks. Dang. What do you say? Boy, well, they, they'll just wait till next year and then when Get they the release the impacts, coming out. you know. We got another <laughs> half inch impact coming out. I seen the, seen that. Somebody posted a picture of it or something. Yeah, it looks just like it's the CT-90. 80. It looks just like the CT 9050. It's just stronger. How much is it supposed to do? I like breakaway is around 1500. Holy cow! Yeah, the breakaway on the other one they says around a thousand or fifty, but I know it did way more than that though. We'll see when they uh, well, that's cool. We we'll get that bad boy in. I, I got don't know two how of you them. Measure it unless you do a you know, like we did on that other test. Yeah, I would to do a torque multiplier. I'm sure they got a uh. Some type of a measuring tool where they can put them on to see what they, like a dyno, a yeah, we impact did that. dyno. We did that with that torque multiplier and dude, 1400, we, well, we did 1400 and it did it and then we did 1450. Man, that's spooky right there. That's a lot of pressure. Well, think about the vise and the table mm -hmm. that the vise is up under to hold that. <laughs> yeah, they, we had to hold the table down to, yeah. to make it get to that, but. 
That's a lot of weight, man. 1,450 foot I'm pounds. I'm trying to twist on this bad boy. Because it was a vice just like this one, wasn't yeah, it? it? Yeah, the same vice, yeah. Putting it didn't, 1,450 the vice had foot no pounds. no struggle at all. Them vices are stout right They're there. They're bad. That's one of the best things. That jet Mitch grinder was probably the best two shop essential equipment yeah. pieces I own. You'd be surprised because I have beat the ever living shit out of that vice, right? Well, not that vice, but a vice just like that one, and it takes it. Like, I know for a fact I seen Clay's with a, a flame on that bad boy a few times over there working on yeah. stuff, heating it, and bending it, and whatever. And then I, that twenty pound sledgehammer that day, yeah. you come in when I was bending <laughs> that metal. I had a piece of metal in there. It's probably I don't know, a little. It's probably five sixteenths thick, maybe three eighths. I don't know. And I was beating it with a 20 pound sledgehammer in that vise. Yeah. Walked Hamilton in the shop walked in. And the <laughs> torch going and the sledge going and the clay <laughs> slinging sweat off his forehead over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, they tough. Yeah, they bad, that's for sure. That's the, probably the best money, those two pieces of equipment, because you're not going to bog it jet my grinder down. And, uh. Not, it surprises me when you go in the shops and see, like to me, this is. A decent size vise. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit probably on the smaller side, but for what I do, yeah. is everything on here. At the house, I got an old eight-inch vise, but a lot of shops have vices smaller than this yeah. in the shops, and they don't have bench grinders and stuff. I'm like, man, I use that bench grinder a lot. You know, a lot more than you think you'd use it. But put a wire brush on one mm -hmm. side, and that way you can clean bolts or anything off with. Yeah. And with that yeah. jet, you better hang on to it. You don't stand on the in the way of it for sure. Because <laughs> it ain't going. You're not going to bog it down. If you shove it in there hard enough to grab it, it's it's coming out. Remember it? It chunked that socket. I was cleaning off that one day. That old socket. <laughs> yeah. Hold it with. I can't remember pliers what it was, but it jerked it out the pliers hands and it's it, stout, boy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be standing in front of it. It'd been like taking a nine millimeter to the chest. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well. I guess we're gonna get in here and get some work done and finally 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 call it the end of the day for this friday so hopefully you guys will have a good fourth of july weekend don't drink and drive drink and ride that's, that's the smart it. thing to do there'll be plenty of roadblocks out i'm sure i guarantee you all right guys like always thanks for hanging out with us today if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here and if you're not subscribed you take your finger and you punch that button just click it you guys have a great happy fourth and we'll catch you later see ya